now. And of course, the big headline uh, came with Cineworld off the news of James Bond, the UK's biggest chain, has shut its 126 British cinemas temporarily. And that means a lot of people are in a situation where they don't have a job to go to. Mick Corfield is the industrial officer for Bechtu and that union represents workers in the media and entertainment industries like cinema. Hi, Mick. Good evening, Colin. Mick, uh, talk to me about that group of employees who, off the back of a film not being released in time, have found them themselves out of a job. Well, Colin, I think there's a bit more into it and, and I haven't really got enough time in five minutes to explain the situation, but I'll just give you a bit of a, a quick background about why films can't be released for six months anyway. Is because there's normally a 90-day agreement before uh, theatrical releases can be released on DVD streaming platform and, and in stores. And, and Cineworld and uh, Odeon and all these companies had an argument in July where the distributors uh, and the studios wanted to release uh, things on streaming and DVD after 17 days. Wow. So that's been rumbling on for a long, long time. So that's that's the point of fact, Colin, I think it's important that your listeners uh, have an understanding of that. Um, as regards Cineworld, well... I had some sympathy with them, obviously, at the, at the weekend when it was announced, um, because obviously all the other companies that were talking about these things, about closures, it's the way that Sydney World just so abruptly announced that they were closing their cinemas with no consultation with their staff, Colin, and, and leaving the staff iron dry. What we can't understand is that no, no one can work out why Sydney World cannot even pay its, uh, member, our members and its staff until the furlough scheme ended at the end of October, mm. especially when the government were picking up 60% of the tab. To be told you were only being paid to the 15th um, is quite galling after all their loyal service. Mm. Uh, and it's hard to believe that any cinema chain would do that, to be perfectly honest with you. Ha- I mean, they, these are normally called in the lowest paid workers in the industry. And, and there's a lot of Zero Wars contract staff as well uh, involved in working in the cinema. And have other chains that are big chains handled it in a way that you would say, Mick, that's how you should handle it, or at least to a higher level of satisfaction? I mean, that's the whole issue about what City World have done is the fact of the other cinema chains, even though they have no obligation to speak to us, have been uh, uh, consulted with us, having telling us what they're doing, what their plans are going forward. I think that the problem is with, with City World, like I say, is galling, is that the City World management constantly refer to, to the City World family. However, I'm sure our members and their staff now realise it must mean the Cine World family shareholders because a, a family member wouldn't do that to a family member. You wouldn't, you wouldn't get confirmation on uh, the, the, the cinemas were shut in. They were considering the cinemas were shut in on Monday, then being told on Wednesday that they were closing on Thursday at 10 o'clock and then also being told on Wednesday you've got a week's notice uh, and that was it. And like I say, not to even pay people, the poorest uh, people who are paid in the industry uh, till the end of the month when the government's picking up 6% of the tab. I just mm. I find that quite astonishing. The bigger, uh, you know. the bigger side out as well, uh, uh, sorry, another side out as well, I, I saw a, a restaurant owner in Liverpool saying, look, here's the thing, if my staff were picking up X percentage of their wages because we closed down completely, they'll be in a better situation than if we stay open because we have to cut their hours in half. Yes. So it's so complex across the board, especially looking at independent cinemas. And I cannot believe, Mick, um, it's a shame we're out of time. We, we so much conversation in that 45 minutes. I, I cannot believe that we're trying to negotiate 17 days. That's another story that we should look at because you, that longer period, that creativity, Mick, to make it work. That's what we need at the moment. Creativity and big thinking. Bond's well, best what- mission could have been this. Well, Colin, I think what we need more is a bit more compassion for people who actually work in the cinema industry. Yeah. And, and when you pointed out, and it was pointed out that the cinema industry, like, made millions last year, the highest year that they've had in years, right. why couldn't some of that money be diverted to its staff, Colin? Right, I agree, mate. Thank you so much for joining us. Mick Corfield, industrial official at Beck 2 That was our chat about cinema.